It's the disastrous Boeing says it should have seen coming but didn't. The two 737 MAX crashes that killed hundreds and led to the grounding of the jet almost a year ago. King 5's Glenn Farley sat down for an exclusive one-on-one -on -one with Boeing's new chief executive, who is not exactly a new hire, Glenn. Not exactly, yeah. no. So, you know, in the history of aviation, there's really been nothing like this. 800 airliners, all Boeing MAX jets, remain grounded tonight. And a very candid David Calhoun on what happened and what the company owns. We made an assumption, and it was a bad assumption, with respect to what a pilot would do at, when, it, when faced with this boundary condition. And it was wrong. And we all know that. Boeing CEO David Calhoun on how the company failed. In the lead up to two 737 MAX crashes in October of 2018 and nearly a year ago on March 10th in Ethiopia. When he says boundary condition, he's talking about what Boeing thought would be the remote chance that the MCAS system new to the 737 MAX could, on its own, force the stabilizer at the back of the plane up and the nose of the plane down. It turned out not to be rare enough. And the presumption that all pilots would be able to step in and throw a pair of switches to save the plane was just that, a presumption. And we regret it. Everybody does. And there are a lot of things we can do to tidy up our processes, our procedures, and our disciplines to make sure it never happens again. But with respect to culture, people weren't making trades. Oh, let's, you know, cost, let's we get a lower cost if we, you know, uh, we can trade safety away for that. That's not what happened. It was a faulty assumption on our part and on the part of our regulator. Calhoun may be the new CEO, but he was on Boeing's board of directors for a decade before that. The, up until the first accident. The record of the Boeing company has been spectacular. Investors were cheering. Um, the safety record was spectacular. It was spectacular. Um, it still is spectacular for the industry and for Boeing. Um, so there wasn't a sort of a burning, what did you know, etc. cetera. Um, uh, when we faced the crisis, you always learn things that you would never learn otherwise. You always do. Uh, you have to dig deeper. You have to shine lights on parts of the business that weren't, it didn't have light shined on them before. And he says as the board and the company dug into itself, it found things it didn't like, including instant messages or IMs between some of the pilots who mocked the Federal Aviation Administration, said they were working with clowns, and included this one where pilots in 2017 derided the necessity for simulator training to start flying the MAX. Which did not look good. I think we'll, we can both agree on that. It looked horrible. It did look horrible. Yep. When you look back there, and apparently you dismissed somebody recently who was sort of overseeing that. I, I think these horrible IMs that were, that were disclosed, and if we ever find another one, we'll disclose it again. Um, I think that really was a isolated crowd within the, within the Boeing company who had a language amongst themselves that uh, none, of, none of us approve of, nobody. Now, in contrast to the days when Boeing sold the Maxed Airlines, already flying the previous model, sold them on the basis that there was no need for additional simulator training. Flying the Max would feel just like flying that older jet. David Calhoun says simulator training will now be mandatory going forward for the Max. And those pilots were involved in the unit that was, that was working on a lot of that training at the time. Remind us about the MCAS system. It has been fixed, right? It has been fixed. Uh, part of the problem was that that MCAS system, you saw what it could do, relied on one of two sensors in the nose of the airplane. Right. Now it relies on both. There's changes to the software. There's other changes. But also this training goes to recognition of what can happen, how to deal with it. And now pilots who weren't told this MCAS system was even on the plane before will certainly know mm -hmm. it's there. All right. Thank you, Glenn. Thanks.